Uh, so good evening to all of you who have joined us today. Uh, today we have with us one of the best uh, badminton players in India currently, uh, Ms. Rutuparna Panda. Thanks a lot, ma'am, for joining us today. Uh, ma'am has represented India in the Asian Games in 2018. She was the winner of the Hellas Open as well. Uh, she's won a lot uh, through a short span in this game. And uh, she's also part of the Gopichand Academy, which is headed by one of the best coaches in India. So, first of all, ma'am, I would like to welcome you to our show. Thanks a lot for coming in. And uh, ma'am, uh, my first question would uh, be, how did uh, this happen? How did badminton happen to you? And if you could take us from a journey from the beginning when you were a kid and what attracted you to this beautiful sport? Yeah, I started playing, uh, watching my father play. Like, uh, I was very small that time and my father used to play outdoors with uh, his friends. Like, uh, I still remember in winters uh, till late in the night, 11.30 like that, I used to go sick watch and like watch him play. Uh, he used to win small, small trophies. So, I was very happy at that time and uh, I thought, like, I got interested into badminton. Like, that only I started playing badminton. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in 2009, I started, yeah. So 2009, you started uh, playing what level? Well, what was your age at that point of time and what level? What was the first competitive uh, competition you started playing, which which was, you know, your first big yeah. competition? I started practicing in 2009. On my terrace only, I started like that. So in uh, 2010, I played my uh, first ever stage, under 39, under 16, I guess. yeah. And then I got selected in the under 13 category for the nationals. Then I played the Nationals in 2010. So, yeah, I played in 2009. I started and uh, like in one year, I played uh, the Nationals. Then slowly I played more tournaments and I did win. Right. So, uh, when was the first match in this whole journey, in, in the beginning of your career, when you really felt, okay, this is something, this is sport I really can pursue? Because, you know, initially uh, there is a lot of uh, friction when you know parents want you to study and when you when you really get start started with the sport you really want to pursue it so when was the point that that you felt okay this is something i want to pursue as a career yeah in the beginning even uh, my mom was like uh, i should study and do well because i was doing good in studies also so like she was not ready because there is no certainty as no one is professional player from my family as my grandfather was also headmaster. So, yeah, no one was certain. But uh, once I got selected for the nationals, like, they really understood because uh, very fast I played state and I got selection for the nationals. So, they thought, yeah, she can do well. Like, uh, she she did well and she can do well. So, I also thought that I, I, I should uh, take it professionally. Yeah. Right. So, uh, at that point, when you... Uh thought you wanted to play professionally and you started going to these academies. Uh, which coach, who was your first coach, first of all, if you could tell us and how was your experience when you started, you know, gearing up for the real, uh, real leagues, the bigger leagues in, in your journey? Like, uh, for me, my first coach is my father as like, he taught me how to hold the racket. Uh, but uh, then, uh, like, I used to play in Orissa and with him and even with my sister, I used to practice and I used to play tournaments like that. Uh, in 2017, Gopichan Academy coaches saw me uh, in junior nationals. Like, I was playing with my sister doubles there. So, they just saw me. I lost there, but they saw me, saw my effort. I was giving my 100% and I was doing well. Uh, though I lost the match, they, they asked me that uh, I think you, like, you, I should join the academy. They asked me that you should join the academy. You can do well. You can come for one month and we can see your uh, discipline and everything so that you can uh, like practice here. Uh, so yeah, after that, I, I and after that I played uh, Patna Nationals, Senior Nationals. So again, again, coaches asked me that, yeah, you should uh, come. That, there also I played with my sister, but that was the senior tournament. So then I thought, yeah, I should, I should go to the academy and uh, uh, like see the atmosphere there and I should train there because in Orissa it's very difficult like uh, to uh, continue playing in that level. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I should go. So in 2017, I joined the Gopuchan Academy and after joining the academy, 
the international journey started so i started doing well i started um, doing well in the national tournaments also i started winning uh, those in juniors and that's how i like started playing well in that level so uh this transition from odisha playing badminton in odisha and then going on to playing in hyderabad so did you find a difference in the uh, badminton cultures between these two cities the way you were coached the way people look towards the sport yeah of course like in odisha there was uh, very less uh, players to practice of course very less like for me i used to play nationals uh, like playing with only with my father and sister so it was difficult for me and after going to the academy it was like so many players from uh, different states and uh, i used to get good practice sessions and uh, good training sessions also good uh, like support staff coaches so the atmosphere was totally different and i started liking it like from the first i was little uh, like worried that uh, till 17 18 years i was in my home and i was like very close to my family so it was very difficult for me going there and staying there and practice but once i uh, like started doing the sessions i enjoyed it i liked it and i played well so yeah it was uh, really different for me and it was uh, like a life changer for me yeah great great so uh, you also mentioned the role of a sister in this journey so how important do you think she was uh, while you were growing up you know as you said your only comp- most of the time when you were playing in odisha your competitors were your dad and your sister so how important do you think their role was especially in the time you were in odisha and you were coming up the ranks yeah i feel she played a major role like uh, for me being selected for the uh, academy and playing well like i used to play with her only when coaches saw me so yeah i played uh, the first state with uh, her and like it was her first uh, doubles with me and we won the states under 19 and seniors then we played uh, east zone so i was playing so many events like three or four i was playing singles mixed doubles because from odisha i was the one like playing so many events and i was like badly sick that time so and in one day i think i played some 13 14 games in one day so 13 14 games it was like very tiring and i was like kind of very uh, kind of dead so we had the finals uh, in under 19 girls doubles so like i was very badly tired so i was like main name pa ho gaya so type so so she was like no you can play with it i know you have that capacity so we just went onto the court and first set we lost in the finals first set we lost and then second third something she told me she motivated me and we just like we played really well and we won that match and it was the first region and of course the first title and uh, mine too i won the singles also and doubles also so that is really memorable for me and of course i like my sister really motivates me even uh, when i am at hyderabad if i feel low or something i uh, call her and like talk to her like she is really she is a motivator for me yeah uh, there there's one uh, comment also a question in the comments like who used to win between you and your sister <laughs> me <laughs> actually uh, like yeah she is she is under 50 last year now so like under 17 first year so she is 6 years 6 years younger than me so yeah now i am winning so so did it ever happen that okay you've already won a lot of matches and you're like okay i should i should really lose one match just to increase the morale yeah, or you that... very competitive or you don't lose at all what is the situation no actually in practice this happens sometimes but like i am competitive but in practice this happens like to do this but uh, if in match i think i will beat her <laughs> yeah great so uh when you moved uh, to the gopichand academy first of all how, if you could tell us how was that experience that whole new environment whole new level of coaches what was the difference in the coaching level that you saw in odisha and the coaching level you saw in uh, at the gopichand academy yeah in odisha like my father was not professional but he taught me really well like he really boosts my uh, confidence all the time he believes in me when like even when i don't so that is a best point like that is the best part of my father and after going to the academy of course they know a lot the coaches are really experienced and very good coaches so 
the techniques and the fitness things and everything and the advices they give us that really helped me a lot so it's actually it's different uh, for doing well in the higher level in the national or international level like the coaches in bookchan academy they are really good yeah so uh gobichand academy is also the academy where so two of the top players of india saina nehwal and pv sindhu have also played so if you could tell us your experience when you met them first to the, when they came to practice in the academies how was that experience the first time you actually saw them or played against them what were the small things like you noticed that was different in their game which made them champions yeah it was great like when i met them first time of course they are like very friendly on court also they are like very good they give advice to the juniors i really like uh, that thing of them and on court like they they both are like a good fighter so like they really fight and i also like played some matches on saturdays i played mixed doubles and doubles with them so that time i for the first time i felt really good like coming from odisha and playing against uh, them it was really great for me and like i really uh, try to learn something whenever i play with them or watch them playing so yeah it like it's a really great experience and of course they are doing uh, really well and uh, winning so many medals for our country and on court also their their intensity is too good so i really admire that thing so in the games that you played were you able to beat them in any of the games uh, i don't remember i think in mixed doubles i think one game like um, we beat uh, in mixed doubles i think i played against finally and someone i don't really remember but i think one game i i won yeah <laughs> yes so uh in this journey that you have uh, gone through from pl- playing in odisha to uh, going in hyderabad going to hyderabad what is the challenge that you th- challenge uh, you faced during this journey you feel that these things have to be improved so that the young players because uh, uh, a few days ago we were having an interview with arimen tandon sir as well and he told us that you know uh, what china does different and what these other asian uh, countries do different is that they catch the players young so what changes yeah. do you feel because you've gone through this process right so you would know best yeah. changes need to be made so that you know we can also you know make those players those young players some big players in the future yeah so that's correct like in china and other countries they like pick players very early even i joined academy late like uh, in my under 19 last year i joined gopchan academy so it was also a little late but like i never gave up so i think that's why i joined but i would say like uh, in india also we should pick players from very young age uh, like we should uh, pick them from grassroots levels and train them and they can also do well and we can improve their strengths so that they can play in a higher level so yes that's the thing yeah. so uh going on in your journey to the asian games so that was a very big part of your life when you uh got selected uh for the asian games in 2018 so uh how how was your reaction when you got to know you have uh, been selected and then how was your experience going on and playing over there it was really great and that time i was in my home that was uh, like really special because almost uh, from 3 years like i have been staying there in hyderabad and luckily that time i was at my home place so with my family so when i got call from some people that yeah we saw this news and all so my family was really happy that i like for, for the uh, first time uh, from from odisha and the first uh, women player to get selected in the asian games so my family was really happy and proud of myself and even me and i i really uh, got motivation to work more hard harder to like prove myself and yeah that was the great experience of my life and of course uh, that helped me to uh, improve my game also yes right also we have some young players uh, who have joined in this uh, conversation so i'll also be taking some questions side by side from the comment section so uh, what do you prefer uh, playing doubles or singles of course doubles like uh, when i was in odisha i used to play singles i used to play i used to continue playing till uh, 20, 2016 i think yeah uh, so from 17 i shifted to doubles uh, the coaches uh, called me in doubles only 
and i started playing doubles i started learning doubles so and when i performed well i started liking other event also so yeah of course it's doubles women doubles and mixed doubles so uh, this is a question a lot of players young players tend to ask that how do you know what is better for you a sing- like for example you know everyone starts playing singles when they start playing badminton so when do we realize that okay maybe doubles is something that could i could perform better in and what are the differences in the preparation and practice and training when you're playing uh, when you're preparing for a doubles tournament and a singles tournament yeah uh, the pattern is totally different like uh, in singles like it's more of rally and like less of smashes than doubles so in doubles it's more of attacking game and in doubles also like men doubles is a uh, little fast and women doubles is like more of rally is like long duration matches and mixed doubles also very tricky in the net we have to like girl have to play soft and like uh, and then boys need to hit so all that things are there so it's different in the training schedule only like for singles they do little different and for doubles they do different so we do at that difference more and singles players uh, do rally more and more fitness and even we have to like improve our reflexes also we have to be more fast and a lot all the time on court so yeah like they should train that differently if you are playing singles you have to train uh, well for singles in that pattern and if you are playing doubles you have to train like dub- in doubles pattern so to improve your strength yeah right so moving on to the hellas open uh, so uh, before before going that, there i would like to ask you this question so which was one tournament be it national be it in the beginning or be it some international tournament when you played that tournament and you felt okay now i am i meant to be in this sport this is a sport i really play well in and uh, which was that big uh, life turning game i would say if it has uh, come already yeah it was in tata open uh, like tata open 2018 i guess yeah uh, 2018 so it was against vivian hu and yap cheng of malaysia like we will who already won like glasgow commonwealth gold and won asian games medal also so we played against them it was uh, a really great match so and me and arti bibi was playing that time so it was a great match for me and like that year only like yeah, that year only we started playing together so that match was really great i thought like they are good players they are better players than me so i should give my 100% and we played well i think we lost the first set and in third set only we won that match that was that was when i felt that yeah i can also do like uh, they are from malaysia and they are playing well they already won so many medals also so yeah if i can beat them i can do well of course so that was the one match when like i really got uh, motivated and yeah i can do well in the international level as well yeah right so uh, moving on to the uh, hellas open which was uh, one of the best tournaments you have played one of the biggest uh, prize that you have so how was the experience over there and what uh, how how it how was the tournament how were your emotions going forward in the tournament till you reached the finals and then went on to win it yeah it was my first ever international title in 2018 so it was great like we played uh, some good matches to like win that tournament even in uh, finals we played against france fair so yeah and for me it was really great as it was my first uh, first ever uh, like international title and yeah we did hard work also for that and i think that paid off so that time also i i felt yeah i should work more hard for like playing one higher level of tournament and winning that tournament as well so yeah that was great right so uh, what is next uh, in your plans how how do you what is your end goal what do you want to achieve from this sport uh, that is going to be my first question to you and then oh, what are the next things that you going to do to try to achieve that yeah so i really want to win medals for india in the like big tournaments uh, like winning in women doubles and mixed doubles winning medals and yeah of course like being one of the uh, top like top player in badminton in world badminton world so yeah and i want to like do hard work and stay disciplined and focused uh, to achieve that like till i achieve that goal and 
i'm going to try my best and do my 100% effort for that yeah so that's my goal uh, for like winning medals in the big events in badminton world yeah so which is one competition that you always dream of winning the biggest the tournament in your eyes i really like feel i, I have never played all england but i really like feel like playing there and of course winning is the ultimate dream for me but maria yeah, first i i need to go there play and like give my best and i really want that tournament yeah right so uh, i'm going to uh, we now going to be playing a short rapid fire round uh, it, it is somewhat like what is in coffee with karan but uh, i hope i hope you enjoy it as well so uh, who is your favorite player in badminton lee chong wei lee chong now it's kento momota yeah of course lee chong wei but now kento momota like both actually <laughs> and who is your favorite uh, sportsman outside of badminton Mm. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Uh, okay. Next question: P. V. Sindhu or Saina Nehwal? Oh, it's just, I can't choose one of them. One <laughs> one player you're more inclined towards, I would say. That I can't say, but like when I started playing in Odisha, like in the newspapers also, they used to put that Odisha. Saina Nehwal like that. So from the beginning, also like in my family also they really like Saina Didi. But now both both of them actually. Your favorite country? Mm, Netherlands. It's Netherlands. Uh, your favorite holiday destination? <laughs> I have never been to Switzerland. Like we, we do our friends, but I think that would be the one. Yeah. So, uh, also there is this uh, another question that a lot of people ask uh, usually that you know because of a regime, uh, you tend to lose out on a lot of things, uh, like you know maybe eating unhealthy food and things like that. So, any specific thing that you feel okay, if if this I I could do this as well as play badminton, I would want to choose that. Uh, like I, I really like eating junk food, but I have to control it for my like playing well and all. But with badminton, yeah, yeah, I think I can eat little unhealthy food and play. That thing only. Even even in the comment section, uh, someone asks, "How much do you love alu dum dahi vada?" Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah, very much because it's famous in my place in Kattak. It's very famous. Like when I was in school, also I used to eat, and now also when I come home, I used to go and eat. But in this situation, it's difficult for me, and I miss that even more. Great. So uh, moving ahead, uh, you know, our country is now. I would say badminton is one sport in which we are producing great players. So, uh, what steps do you think need to be taken to make the sport reach the pinnacle, and maybe you know? Make us better than some of the other Asian countries that are con- uh, performing really well at this point of time. So, what steps, what things do you think we need to take to reach there? Uh, I would say government should take uh, initiative from the grassroots level itself. Like, to, uh, it may be infrastructures and coaching facilities. They should take uh, good players from the grassroots level, and they should train them so that they can perform well in the juniors and. they can gain more confidence and that they can play well in the seniors as well like from junior they should play more international tournaments and maybe perform well and then again do it in the senior also continue it. and yeah they should and they should like uh, take some poor child also like if they can they should uh, take them because uh, so many people like have uh, so many talents like that they are hidden so they should go search for them and take them and train them maybe without any fees and uh, like make them uh, play and make our country proud and that would be great great thanks a lot ruto parna for joining us today it was a beautiful interview with you and uh, we hope to see uh, we hope to have a greater collaboration for a long time and we hope that you represent india even more and take us to greater heights thanks a lot for joining us today thank you so much for having me thank you Thanks a lot.